I believe that the Yale School of Public Health has the chance to define public health scholarship, education, and practice for the next century, to define who's part of public health, how we do it, how we identify and address health problems in an inclusive, equitable, and impactful way. The ultimate objective for the Yale School of Public Health is for us to be recognized globally as the school that is transforming the future of human health. I see there being four pillars of a school of public health that defines the future of our field. Those are inclusivity. It is, of course, core to the field of public health, but it's also how we are going to succeed as we move forward. Inclusivity is about having a diverse, equitable, inclusive, and belonging-focused environment within our school for faculty, staff, and students but it's also about being inclusive of community voices, of lived experience, of folks who we may not traditionally think of as being part of public health at all. Innovation and entrepreneurship, making sure that we're set up to make sure that public health innovations can thrive in either for-profit or not-for-profit environments. The third pillar is around communication, as we learned all too well during COVID, it's essential for all of us, students, faculty, and the world at large to know how to communicate about public health and scientific knowledge. The last pillar that is essential for us as we move forward into the public health school of the future is around data-driven leadership. That's the ability for us to use our disciplinary skills to identify problems, gather data sets to look at the details, and then figure out what to do next. Public health is only as good as the action that we take at the other side, the impact that we have on the health of our local community as well as the nation and the globe. Those are the skills that we have to impart in our students, but also that we as faculty and staff and alumni need to be dedicated to. CEA Winslow founded our School of Public Health 108 years ago based on the idea that core to public health is the community and also core to public health is empowering the community for change. That's one of the philosophies that informs my leadership style in general, informs my decision to assume the deanship here at the Yale School of Public Health, and that is core to our function as a School of Public Health. But going forwards, it is incumbent on us to do more. Public health only succeeds when we have the public at its core, when we listen to, partner with, and sometimes are led by the needs of the communities in which we work. As an emergency physician, I know that I'm only as good as the team that I work with. And so my commitment as a leader is to making sure that everyone on my team is set up for success, knows what their role is, and is empowered to do everything that they can for the greater good. So here at Yale, we have tremendous potential to influence and make progress on firearm injury prevention both within the School of Public Health, but also in partnership with other schools across Yale. We have a number of brilliant researchers at the Yale School of Public Health who are already thinking about many of those baseline risk factors for firearm injury and how to modify them. We have a tremendous opportunity to set the standard, not just as an academic community, but as a city and as a state that can help lead the rest of the nation. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your commitment to the Yale School of Public Health.